Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 455 of lead code called assign cookies. Before I start with the problem statement guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement. So guys, what we are given here are two arrays, okay? Basically, one array is called as the G array, which is uh, a greedy array. And the second array is called as the S array, which is the size array. So what's a greed array and what's a size array, guys? The greed array contains the greed factor of all the children which we have in the array, okay? So basically, we have got a bunch of children in this greed array who have a certain greed factor. And by greed factor, I mean that by this factor, if you give them this much size of a cookie, then those students, uh, those children will get satisfied. Okay. So for example, in this case, uh, the child at index zero has a greed factor of one. So if you give this child a size of uh, a cookie of size one, then this child will be satisfied, right? Second, we have a size array, which is the S array. And this size array is uh, having the sizes of all the cookies that we have, okay? So what we have to do, we have to basically find out the maximum number of children we can satisfy by giving out these cookies, okay? So basically, so in this case, let's take one example. We have got a size array in which we have got two cookies. Both the cookies have size one. And then we have got a greed array in which we have got three children and all the children are having a greed factor of one, two and three. So if we try to give uh, these cookies to these children, even if we give the first cookie to first child, then this first child will get satisfied because his greed factor is one and the size of the cookie is also one. Now if we go to the second child and we try to feed the second child with the cookie size one then this child will never get satisfied because his greed factor is greater than the size of the cookie same with the third child as well so uh, even if we try to feed both the cookies to all these children we will only be able to satisfy one child because only the child at index zero has the greed factor of one which matches the size of the either cookies okay so that's why the output is one because we want to find out the maximum number of satisfied children okay remember guys that we can give only one cookie to one child so we cannot give two cookies to one child so we can't uh, make sure that one plus one it can be fee fed to one of the child here we can give one cookie to one child let's go to another example so here you can see that we have got two children here one is having greed factor of one other is having greed factor of two we have got three cookies uh, with size of one two and three so you can see that we can feed and satisfy two children with these uh, size cookies we can take the size cookie one and give it to the child one or we can also give size cookie two to the first child because the if the cookie size is greater than the greed factor it is okay but if it is smaller than the greed factor, then you can't satisfy the child, okay? So we can take all these cookies and give these to these two children and they will get satisfied with it. So that's why the output is two, okay? So uh, now let's look at the constraints, guys. The constraints are pretty straightforward as well. Uh, the total number of children size uh, vary from 1 to 3 into 10 to the power 4. The total number of cookies vary from 0 to 3 into 10 to the power 4. The size and the greed factor values vary from 1 to 2 to the power 31 minus 1. Okay. So guys, we want to find out the maximum number of children which we can satisfy with these cookies. So let's go to the coding part and the solution for this problem. Okay. So the first thing which we want to do guys is to sort both the greed array and the size array. So let's do the sorting and we want to do the sorting of these two arrays because we want to make sure that uh, the first greed factor which we should encounter in the array should be the smallest greed factor and we should compare the smallest greed factor with the smallest size of the cookie and then so on and so forth so that we are able to 
satisfy the smallest greed uh, the, yeah the least greedy student or least greedy child with the smallest size cookie and then you know further more uh, greater greedy child with the greater size cookie and so on and so forth so that's why let's sort the two arrays now i am going to create a result value and initialize it to zero now we are going to create two um, indexes here one is going to be the index i which is going to take care of our greed array one is going to be the index j which is going to take care of our size array now i'm going to make a while loop while i is less than g dot length and j is less than s dot length okay so now we are going to traverse through both the greed array and the size array so the first thing the first condition which is actually given to us in problem statement only that only if the size of the cookie that mean s j is greater than equal to the greed factor of the child that means g i then we will say that this child is satisfied so in that case we will increment the result value we will increment both indexes as well because uh, if ith sorry if jth cookie is fed to the ith child then ith child is satisfied so we can move forward to the j plus child uh, and the i so i plus i plus child and j plus plus cookie okay so we can move forward to the next cookie in the next child so if the sj condition is greater than equals to gi it means that cookie is being used else so else means that uh, the size of the cookie was actually smaller than the greed of the child so in that case we will move forward to the next size of the cookie so in that case we will remain at the same child the i value will remain same but the j value will be incremented because now we will start checking the next bigger size cookie to see if that satisfies the ith child okay finally when this while loop will get completed the result value will actually have the maximum number of kids we have satisfied with these cookies so we will just return the result let's run this code to see if this actually works with the sample uh, or not you can see that it is accepted uh, submit this code just to see if all the other examples are also satisfied so there you go guys you can see that it matches all the other uh, test cases as well Uh, coming to the time complexity, guys. Then the time complexity is uh, actually order of n log n. Why? Because we are sorting both the arrays and then we are running a while loop, which is uh, definitely order of n. So if we take the big O notation of order of n log n and order of n, it comes out to be order of n log n. If we talk about the space complexity, guys, obviously this is going to be order of one one for us because we are not taking any extra space. but yes it does depend upon the sorting algorithm being used internally because we are not taking into consideration that we can just say that the space complexity is order of 1 okay so that was the problem statement and that was the solution guys i hope the solution was clear enough to you and your coding practice became a little bit better if it has guys then please do not forget to like this video share this video with your friends as well if you have not subscribed then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such videos and uh, please guys write down in the comment section below anything you want to say to me any feedback is welcome i would love to hear about your opinions and uh, more about what you want to see next and uh, thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye